welcome back guys um, I am following through on the uh, promise that I made in the last video and we're going to talk about how you can make sure that you're using the most efficient fastest uh, update mirror or, ser or server within your Debian installation now Debian is a little bit different than Manjaro, Arch, Ubuntu, um, it uses a different mechanism. So we're going to review that. And the first thing that you will need to do is install a package named NetSelect apt. So you're going to, from the command line, type sudo apt get install net select dash apt <clears throat> okay and it's gonna highlight the dependencies you're gonna click yes to continue and now you have net select apt installed in your Debian distribution now I happen to be using MX15 and but this will work on any Debian distribution now, you're going to open up a terminal. Once that's installed, you're going to open up a terminal. Now, the best, absolute best explanation that I found uh, that you guys can take a look at is at linuxconfig.org. They have the best explanation of net select app that I have seen and I'll post the link in the show notes but you can <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> you can run uh, net select apt with qualifiers or operands that will designate and help filter out what you're trying to achieve. For example, you can run it as net select apt dash C Australia minus T fifteen dash A AMD sixty four dash N testing. Now what that means is it's going to basically look at all of the servers in Australia it will figure out the top filter out the top 15 uh, it'll make sure that they have um, and they've, they've enabled the 64 bit for your particular install now you don't have to designate the architecture in your command uh, and, and we'll talk about that in a minute <clears throat> and then you can tell it which distribution you're using what flavor of Linux whether it be stable testing um, you can put the name in Wheezy Jesse stretch and so you can basically tell it how you want it to look how you want it to filter the servers now you can also <clears throat> just put testing uh, and that's what I would recommend rather than uh, specifying location architecture the number of hits just go ahead and use the command with your uh, version of Debian now if you don't put anything if you just put net select apt it will return a sources list just for stable so if you're running stable as MX 15 is <clears throat> then you don't need to specify anything so let's take the first step and we're going to run the command and I'm going to do it for MX15 so I'm not going to specify 
anything, I'm going to let it go after the stable servers and repos. <clears throat> now you do need to run this as root. So it's going to be sudo net select apt. <clears throat> now it's, go it's, it's basically going through all of the appropriate servers and it's going to uh, I believe it's going to uh, give you the top 10 or 15. It's going to choose 10 out of 390. So just let it go through the process. It will come back and tell you what the fastest servers are. Then it's going to take the fastest and it's going to output it to a sources list file. Now you see the fastest 10 are listed here. Of those hosts tested, the fastest is the Cogentco. It, it, now it writes a sources list in the directory that you're in when you run it. So since I'm in my home directory, if I go to my home, I will see a new sources list. Now, what you do with that sources list, right now it's not going to, it hasn't enabled anything because it doesn't copy the sources list to the appropriate folder or file. Basically, it uh, lets you decide whether you want to do that. So, if you take a look at the sources list that it generated, you will see that it's most of it is commented except for two. It's got the line for Cogentco, which is stable, and it's got the line for security updates. Now the security update should match what you have. So if we take a look at our actual sources list, So let's go to File System, ETC, APT, <coughs> and Sources List. Now if we look at Debian, let's, okay. <coughs> so right now in Debian, we have the Debian.org, Jesse, Sources uh, sources list. Now that's the server that's being used in the default ser uh, sources list for MX15. So you've got Debian.org on both the package update and security. Everything else is commented out. Now <coughs> MX15 is nice enough to put in the Deb Multimedia, and all you have to do to enable it is to uncomment it, just like that, and save the file. <clears throat> now, you're faced with a decision at this point. The system is telling you that this is your fastest mirrors. So what you can do, and what I would suggest, is this. Let's close that out. So let's go to our linuxconfig.org. <clears throat> and you can go through this, guys, when you have a chance. But um, you don't want to get too fancy with this. Uh, just let it do its thing rather than putting in all these qualifiers but once you run it if you want testing you'll put testing if you want uh, stretch you can put stretch you can put SID you can put basically any flavor uh, of Debian <clears throat> or any level of Debian that you choose. Now, Linux config 
is recommending a pretty um, conservative approach. So first of all, it's suggesting that you copy your sources list and make a backup, which is a really good idea. Okay, so we're going to follow through on Linux config dot uh, org uh, on their recommendation to copy make a backup of our sources list but we're going to do it a little bit differently uh, instead of using their copy command because our sources list is ha is comprised of a, f a few different sections we're going to copy the entire folder so what we're going to do is we're going to go into file system etc apt with your sources list you're going to right click copy you're gonna go down to your home folder you're gonna go into documents and you're gonna right click and paste and that's what I have done already you see I have a backup of my sources list so now we're safe we have a backup just in case and that's always a good idea so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna take a look at the difference between our uh, current sources list and what NetSelect is recommending. So first of all, let's take a look what NetSelect is recommending. And we'll put that over on the left. Now we're going to have to open up our, our sources list as root. So what I would recommend is open a terminal, sign in as root, and then uh, my recommendation is to open leafpad click on file open uh, and you're gonna go to file system etc apt sources list and then you're gonna open the Debian list okay so now we have <coughs> on the right we have the current sources list for Debian and on the left we have the recommendation from NetSelect. All, all we need, all we want to do at this point is you see the <coughs> and I've already modified uh, my sources list here for Kogentco but what you want to do is you want to make you want to comment out so basically this I'm going to show you how it looked at the beginning I did not have Cogentco so we're going to take that out and basically this was the sources list uh, as it stood originally there was a package sources list and there was a security so uh, package uh, server and a security server so basically what we want to do is I'm gonna leave the security alone because the net select recommendation was the same security Debian dot org the only difference is uh, MX 15 calls it Jesse and uh, NetSelect called it the stable which is the exact same thing the only difference is and it's a big difference uh, MX15 adds non-free so we're gonna leave that security line alone but we're gonna replace the Debian.org we're gonna we're gonna replace it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a comment there so that we don't use it we'll leave it there but not use it okay <clears throat> then I'm going to add a line and I'm gonna copy the Cogentco line that was the recommendation <coughs> excuse me recommendation so now that that's pasted in the only thing we we want to do is add non <coughs> excuse me not non free so we're gonna add non free 
So now we have MiraKogentko.com, Debian Stable, Main, Contrib, Non-Free. That's, that's what the recommendation was. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to click File, Save. And this we're going to leave alone. It's not, it's not using that. That is the recommendation, but it's not being used. It's just sitting in our home folder. Now I want to show you one more thing. That's how you do it if you want to modify the file. If you prefer, you can open up Synaptic. And make the addition under settings. Well, let me do that again. Settings and repositories. Now as you can see, my Cogentco is already listed because what if you make a f change in the file if it, it gets it, it's actually pulling that file in synaptic so they're one and the same if you don't want to use it in synaptic if you want to change it you could uncheck Cogentco and go back to your other one your original it's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it the way it was. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK and I'm going to reload and it's going to basically refresh the cache, the package cache with Cogentco and now that it's done. So that is how you use NetSelect apt, and that's how you make sure you're using the fastest mirror in Debian. Guys, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Take care.